name is Pei. I am the resident tea master at Chaya Tea House and I'm going to talk tea with you today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to choose a teapot. In front of me, I have a uh, different colored, uh, different size Chinese Yixing purple clay teapot. Despite the name purple clay, um, the Yixing clay can have various different colors. So one of the things you look out for is that uh, in a standard shaped teapot like this, we need to look for the fact that the lid is well fitted but still loose. Uh, well fitted will stop the aroma from escaping. Uh, loose is so that you can still remove the lid easily. Um, one other thing that you need to look for uh, for easy pouring is that the um, handle, the opening and the spout are all on the same line. And the only way to look, to look for that characteristic is to turn the pot upside down on a flat surface like so. Of course, certain pots you can't expect for the, uh, to look for that quality because of the specific design of it. The other thing you need to look for is the filter inside the teapot. Um, in this pot, we have a nested round bowl filter, whereas on this one, it's simply a few, uh, five, or, five or six uh, holes, uh, as uh, there's no filter in this pot. Now, um, Sometimes uh, when my tea friends come to the tea house, they look at a teapot and they, do, they really like it because of its colour, of its shape. But what is more important really is to choose a pot that is suitable for the tea that they want to brew. So for a pot like this without a filter, uh, we tend to use it for brewing smaller tea leaves. Um, but with a pot like this, with a nested bowl shaped filter, we tend to use this for larger tea leaf. Uh, this is to ensure that the tea leaf does not block the spout when you pour tea out. Now, the other thing to look for is that uh, when you buy a teapot, uh, you need to hear the pitch of the teapot when you hit it with something. So if you listen to the pitch of uh, this teapot versus this one, now this is a much higher pitch compared to when I hit this particular uh, clay. Um, the higher the pitch, uh, the higher the fire that, it, that is used to fire this clay and therefore uh, the better the clay will be, the more durable and the possibly the less toxic that will be in the natural uh, clay. The other teapot that you can use is the Chinese Sky One. Now this is made with uh, ceramic or porcelain. Uh, as you can see, it is glazed in here, whereas a purple easing purple clay pot is not glazed. Um, because of the fact that it is glazed, you can use it to brew any tea you want. It will not affect the flavors of different teas. Uh, also, it doesn't retain heat very well, so very suitable for brewing the more lightly oxidized tea or the unoxidized tea, like green tea or the light belongs. Whereas for a purple clay pot, it does retain heat quite well, so you would want to choose tea that can withstand a little bit of heat. And this is how you choose a teapot.